hey hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel today i really just want to go through some face care ideas and tips that i see online and mine also so um on tiktok is the app i'll be using to check all of this so you guys will see it around the screen and let's go into this we're gonna use this hashtag if you guys use the hashtag no spoil you literally see me everywhere like my face everywhere this is because i always put the hashtag nose oil on every of my video on tiktok that went viral and yeah um we're not checking my videos yet i want to just go through some videos that also talked about you know taking care of your nose so let's get into this very first one okay this person is literally um removing oil from the edge side of the nose Yes, that's the only part this person can assess. All right, let's see another video real quick. Got the perfect product for you. This is the oil control clearing face mask by Sand and Sky. This one to do is apply a thin layer and wait 10 minutes and bam. Just look at all that oil that is pulled out, especially around my nose area. You can really see how much it's worked its magic. Okay, she actually applied um some, you know, product on the face that dries up and it also probably dries up the oil on your nose and every other place and you wash it off, obviously. So um, that's not really enough because I believe this clogged oil are always inside the skin. So um, this product might just get rid of what's on the surface of your skin or tighten your skin pores, which sometimes you don't really need to tighten your skin pores because you're not trying to end it. You're trying to control it. Control is different from ending. Some things shouldn't end. Some things only should be controlled. All your nose literally should be controlled and not to be put to stop. This is some other video of some guy um, literally using a product and a kind of face brush on his nose. Wash and a nose with gum. Let's see how that goes. Use the large bristles on the face brush, then deep and cleanse and exfoliate the nose. He's literally, he's literally scrubbing that nose. He's literally brushing out on that nose. To me, this is uh, way more stressful than pressing your nose, literally. And people saying no, pressing your nose could hurt you, it could break your nose. Those are people in the category of abusing the act. If you're too aggressive on yourself, that's you. Those that are gentle know how to do this, we don't even feel pain. Alright, here's some video of a girl using oil strip um, on her nose. Uh, and basically, what I believe about this oil strip is it's a product and you have to keep buying it literally every time it's probably not going to end it obviously it's just going to keep getting rid of it right the little quantity you can get rid of but do you want to be spending that money every time or you want to just go the easier way whereby you just do this once a month and i always repeat it is once a month you press your nose and boom to the next month to the next 30 days it will take two months and trust me your nose is not gonna feel that oily it's not gonna bother you it's gonna fill up yes but it's not gonna bother you but these strips i believe you might even be using it almost every week or every day some people might use it every day and just for the fun of it or you know leading it to spending so much and buying even when you don't need it so um i really don't know but yeah if those of you using our strip and enjoy using it don't stop keep using what you love so what's happening here? So when you squeeze your nose like this and the thin white strings come out, these are called sebaceous filaments. And these are made up of dead skin cells and sebum, which is the oil that your skin produces. We don't recommend doing this. It can damage the skin tissue. It can even lead to infection. If you're struggling with blocked pores, instead what we recommend is washing your face twice a day gently. Something about people like this woman, they come online on TikTok and just say, okay, what you're seeing right here, especially when they use my video as a reference, and they be like, oh, don't do this, you could affect yourself. They are right, you could affect yourself if you abuse it. They don't want to listen to that aspect. They just want to be like, oh, don't do this. Because when you go to them, especially your dermatologist, this is what they're gonna do if your case is like this. So they would prefer to do it and collect your money. Is that not crazy? So they tell you don't do it, don't figure it out, don't learn how to do it, it's bad for you. It's only if you abuse that act, then you can say that's bad. Yes, if you abuse something, you're gonna see bad side effects, obviously. But if you did it the right way, 
you do it once in a while, not too much, you don't do too much of what you're meant to do or what you want to do right, there's nothing like it's bad for you. If you don't press your nose to add, boom, you're good. No act on your nose, no scar on your nose. And if you wipe your nose clean, wash your face, because I do this, I wash my face clean right after. And trust me, I'm good. I'm good. So what she's saying right here is just another scary cat, scared of taking care of themselves by themselves. All right. I really enjoyed this video because this guy is not brought out all the cheddar cheese you can ever think of, literally. And it's so amazing and satisfying to watch anyway. I think you guys will like it. Yeah, this video is a typical example of someone that is so aggressive on their nose. You are this person, you don't even know what you're doing. Don't even do it again. Don't do this again. Don't don't try. Go go figure it out first. Go even find out if you need it. That's what I'm saying. Go find out if you need it. Then you can decide if you want to do it, when you want to do it, how you should do it, if you should ever do it. Because you break your nose. That's what I'm trying to get to. You break your you you watch yourself. You probably see blood pop out. Because why would you why would you be this aggressive? I really don't know this device um, that um, literally sucks out the oil in your nose like it's crazy i really want to do this because i feel like it might do more than just getting what is in my pores out it might even just make me have a blood clot somewhere or something some i'm just i'm just concerned i've never tried it anyway i've seen in the comment section people saying i should try it but I've, i really don't know if i want to my god guys this is how ari woke up look at that <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that these oil strips could be good, but though it has to stay on your face for so long, about eight hours or more, some people literally leave it for the whole day. And that's crazy to think that you just want to do that to get oil off your face when you could press your nose. I'm not trying to pay this too much, but I'm showing you how easy. And people also talk about it giving you, pressing your nose, giving you wrinkle. Or giving you scar on your face or something look at this this is doing the same exact thing not to talk about those that use tweezers to get the blackheads off their nose trust me you see those holes they might be left like that and take a while to close and sometimes get infected when it's left open so you do the judge anyway this is a video i know for sure you guys would definitely have enjoyed and I hope this video satisfied you because we're going into the next part where I'm gonna teach you how to do it my way. I always do this um, literally every month, once in a month. Uh, but sometimes if I feel like I, I shouldn't do it too much, I do like once every two two months, right? And um, right now I'll say I've done it since uh, I literally did a video. It's almost a month ago almost like three weeks right now and um, I'm gonna share it with you guys so it's just gonna be like a tutorial so for you guys to know how to do this stuff if you want to do it right if you need it right I have a previous video that has it anyway but you might just want to see this new one right so here it is you don't have to use it to press your nose you can use it to cook you to do whatever you need to do with a glove okay it's a glove also but this is just you can limit where you want to put it on your fingers instead of wearing the whole glove if you don't need to you know it's useful and also if you have an injury or a blister you can just put it on to cover that injury on the finger and you could carry on with everything you need to do in the day see how fun that is Let's check the middle. Mm, okay, I really don't have much in the middle. And as you guys can see from the previous videos I've made, I'm really not having much clog oils anymore. All right, so after doing this, you take wipes, wipe your face, or you just go directly to washing your face again, right? Nothing less, nothing more. The gloves are just gonna help you keep it clean and not stain your hand or spread wherever too. Anyway, where you get it affected and 
I mean, I have pimple in your nose. You don't want that, right? So be careful, wash your face, wipe your nose. And yeah, those are only days on the forehead, like I said. There's a, um, there's a toy method, which you could watch other videos where I did it. And try, you know, just get those oil out so you don't have pimples or blackheads stuck on your face, making you look like a mountain, you know. Gloves on, so I got to wipe. See, wiping is just easy. It makes, it makes your nose clean up fast and... Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I haven't seen the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and yes, I'm coming up with more content and I might not be doing too much of um, nose oil only content because my page is not only about that. Some people have asked, my, my page also talks about my art. I draw, then I also share entertaining topics, you know, like some other videos that are coming soon. I love boxing, so I really talk about boxing, and yeah, we really got some vibe, and yeah, we'll get to learn new stuff. I think I should open more YouTube channels so that this can just be differentiated, right? It makes sense. All right, you guys stay tuned, and I'll let you know in the community channel when I create new channels, right? Share the links, and I hope you guys subscribe. Peace out. Bye. Out.